Goodwin, the Prize Troll Tracker Dad. This is behind the scenes of how Publishers Clearinghouse finds its winners. Oh my gosh! We are going to Boston today. We have a $1 million winner. She joined Publishers Clearinghouse in 1970. It looks like for a record that she entered like all day, every single day. She's great. <laughs> We stalk the heck out of people as soon as we know they won Publishers Clearinghouse. Because we don't call our winners in advance, we really show up and we want it to be a complete surprise. So we have to get on the road and award it in usually 24 hours. Facebook is definitely the best, but then I'll also check Twitter, I'll check if they have an Instagram. We can find out, usually on someone's Facebook page, if they're going to be home or not, usually. We've seen this winner on Facebook. We have a feeling that they're kind of active, so who knows? They may be on vacation. I think people wouldn't realize how much effort we go to to try to find out as much as we can about the winner. You have Google Earth, where you could, you know, scope down on their house sometimes. If it is that house, which I think it is, there's a car in the driveway, which is always a good sign. The Publishers Clearinghouse Prize Patrol is in Randolph, Massachusetts. And we're about to surprise Jane Goodwin with one million dollars. Your wife just won a million dollars. It's your wife, right? Uh, if it ain't, she will be shot. <laughs> Does she enter the sweepstakes and you, or just her? I don't know now she fills it up. <laughs> well, she's actually, she took a day trip on a boat. Yeah. We just came up with a plan. We are going to surprise her at the dock when she gets back tonight. We're just going to wait for the boat to come in and uh, hope we can find her. We always find our winner. <laughs> I've been entering Publishers Clearinghouse every day since 1970. You may be lucky too. Watch for this letter from Publishers Clearinghouse. Once or twice a day I would fill out the form. I don't tell anybody I do it. <laughs> I don't think it's something that you tell people about. I mean, it's just you either do it or you don't do it. A lot of people have said they used to do it and then they stopped doing it because they never won. I'm just persistent. Has anyone ever thought you entering every day for all these years was a little excessive? It's my phone and it's my choice. Somebody's got to win, so why not? It's a terrific feeling to think that you finally won something after all these years. Oh, yeah. Aren't we lucky? This past summer, Jane Goodwin won a million dollars in the Publishers Clearinghouse sweepstakes. Since then, Mrs. Goodwin's been sitting pretty in her modest Randolph home until her husband, Robert, pulled off the improbable three months later. He won a million dollars of his own off this $5 scratch ticket. Might have been a computer glitch. It was not a computer glitch. You know, things like that go through your head. We took the lump sum. <laughs> Do you want to wait 20, you want a 20 year payment? Are you out of your mind? I'd probably be lucky if I make another five. The Goodwins now say they have plenty of free time in retirement and will continue to play the lottery and try their luck on more of these contests. Just got lucky. Just got very lucky.